hey guys, so we're at the G2 Game House and we're doing our boot camp before the, the spring split. And so far we've been here for about a week I would say and uh, we've been, been playing some scrims, just trying to learn each other. Uh, we've been playing some board games to, to try to learn how both like, inside of the game and outside of the game. Um, so that's basically where we've been up to the last week and we're going to continue until, until Christmas. Um, so that's basically why we're here. The biggest in there is, uh, I don't know if it could be like a shared price, but I would say um, Perks probably has it so far. I think he's, uh, he's testing his limits a bit too much on the AD carry position. I've like played with him when he played Funnel, and like there were some champs, like, for example, like when he played Tristana and Funnel, he would just double you in and like lose the game alone. So there's like some tendencies there, but I would say Miki is facilitating him quite well in terms of uh, ending alongside him, so they will like share the price so far. Us? Holy shit! <laughs> um, I mean, it's not only us. Us and Jankos. But <laughs> have you seen mid last Actually, yeah, yeah. like as well? Uh, I mean, I top as well. Like we can't decide. Okay, probably us. I mean, I would have to after today's screens. I think we like won the charts. Yes, yes. Uh, We're topping the charts. To, today we topped the charts. But before that, it was actually like, quite close between like uh, like everyone, you know. But now yeah. I think now we are leading for a little bit. I think that just a little bit. Yeah, like yeah. I think they'll take the lead in the next few streams. So yeah, we can, we, we can, we can lose it again. We have to try hard, I guess, <laughs> to keep it up. Yeah, it feels like our new teammates are playing well. I mean, Caps is like playing well every scream, uh, so far at least, um, and Mikey is just you know playing well as well. So it's nice. Yeah, so I, I've played with Miki before, so I kind of knew like what to expect when uh, at least playing playing with him. And for Caps, I've like briefly talked to him, you know, in Danish, like if we were when we were at Copenhagen, for example, like before the game and stuff like that. But I haven't like talked to anyone from Fnatic basically, so I was like kind of interested to know like how the <coughs> dynamic is gonna be with him joining the team. But so far everything has been great, and we're just really hungry to improve. And uh, yeah, having some struggles maybe, but we will get on. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think uh, as well. Like, uh, I, I mean, I, I never like like to have like huge expectations. I never like uh, know exactly what to expect. But I've been really surprised, like happily surprised, talking with all the all of my teammates because it feels like we have the same a lot of the same values and we have a lot of the same the same goals. So uh, I think we're gonna have very good results because the the way we we think and the way uh, we want to play the game is is is, is very similar. And and that's basically it. Ooh, it's a mix, I think. I would it's say Jankos. Or Jankos him. or him? Yeah. I think whenever he plays solo queue and he's tilting, he like screams or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. I like to, I like to let it all out, you know, because I let it, if I let it all out, then I'm like, I, I, res I reset again. Like I tilt for like let's say, good ten seconds, and then like, <laughs> explode, you know, and then, and then I'm fine again. Like this is just how how I work. Yeah, but Jankos likes to stream. Jankos when talks in Polish, yeah, he's really. I don't think anyone is being actually. Like, I think Jankos is the loudest person in the game, at all. <laughs> especially when he streams. When he doesn't yeah, stream, that, that doesn't it's fine, count. you know. But when he doesn't stream, he sometimes like has like a meeting in Polish, or he has like okay interview. Okay, let's agree on an interview, interview or something, meeting. and you can just. But every time he talk, he talks Polish like a lot, like probably fifty percent during the day. You know, fifty percent of the day is like. It, it goes in Polish, you know. And but that's that's okay. That's only if I stream or if I interview. Yeah, and so when like, he does that, like when he talks Polish, it's really loud. So. But that's just my language, so it's just like loud. Yeah. But I'm not being loud or loud. Not that loud. Maybe a bit loud. Maybe less loud than last split. Okay. Yeah. Our goal is to win. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can also make a PR answer of we will try to improve and we will try to be the best version of ourselves and we will try to support each other and just like, you know, just do well. Yeah, yeah I mean, I just think something that's important is like, we, I mean, obviously we want to win everything, but it's like, it's probably going to be like a slow start, right? Because we're a new team and it's usually always a slow start. Uh, so we just want to like learn a lot in the beginning and then work our way up and then it's all about like the second half of the season, right? And That's the PR answer right there. No, no it's a good one actually. Yeah, yeah, but that, <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a good answer. I, I agree with you. <laughs> Do you want to add something? No, I mean, you guys touched on it perfectly fine now. <laughs> Me. I'm sorry, it's not a champion quote. 
because I played every champion in the game and I have voices on and yeah, only caps can be a competition in the term, co the quote department. I mean, I used to be really good at it on Fnatic, but yeah. I feel like Miki is kind of challenging me. Yeah. So I'm a bit, bit skeptical. The team communication so far in screens have been really clutterish, and a lot of people are like trying to talk because everyone. Um, you know, in some teams people are quiet and then there, you have two, three people talking. In this team we have five people talking, so sometimes there is like a little bit of a clutter or sometimes there's just a, a lot of calls going on and a lot of ideas going through. So um, we are trying to work on it so that we kind of listen to the guy who's talking and we are just kind of trying to learn our voices as well so that, uh, you know, we just know who is talking at what moment and who should we follow as well. So everyone knows that, that the, the second blue buff goes to the mid lane, um, but now on, on G2 we can't have like two mid laners, uh, and one of them is like not really willing to give up his blue. So uh, usually we we do like rock paper scissors for the blue buff. Like Rasm Sanders wants the blue, but then I just like throw my hand like this, and like we play rock paper scissors, and he always loses like no matter what. I, I think I think I got like. So far, I'd say seven blue buffs, I think. No, maybe over five or six. I would say five or six blue buffs from him. And at first, Perks was winning a lot of them because he would always go rock. But now I kind of figured out that he always goes rock. So like, <laughs> I'm winning. Like, I feel like I'm I'm getting to the point where I'm winning like more of them because I use paper a lot more. <laughs> so so uh, I'm getting a lot more buff blue buffs. So that's 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 a that's a good sign, I would say. Yeah, but I, I figured out. How we can solve this in the future? That is, I just play like all mages AP top laners, and I just take it, so they don't have to like do rock paper scissors in the game while we have to improve. They can, I can just take the blue buff. I like how the the blue buff is like jungle in the jungle, but like no one considers me getting it. You know, it's well, like you or them. Well, like, if you die like on average ten times a game, then you're most likely gonna give the blue buff over to the enemy team, and that yeah, would be worse true. than just all seven. But we agreed, Botlane is the biggest inter, so maybe that's true. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know, he's too too big ego. <laughs>